This video is designed to help you to understand how to answer multiple choice and short answer questions. And in particular, we're going to be focusing on translation. I'm going to work, work you, walk you through some worked examples of past exams. And so we've got the 2015 exam here, question three, and then a couple of others to go through as well. So here's an example of a multiple choice question. In biology, the multiple choice questions are quite difficult, some of them, and require a bit of working through like this one. So let's have a look at the question. Scientists is working with DNA and RNA and found the following sequence of bases, but we don't know whether it's DNA or RNA. We do know that it codes for the amino acids, arginine, cysteine, alanine, glutamic acid in that order. And what the question is asking us to do is work out the type of nucleic acid, the complementary DNA sequence, and the anticodon that matches that fragment. And then we've got our four options here to choose from. So first thing to look at is the type of nucleic acid in the fragment. What I'm going to notice straight away, and you do too hopefully, is that there's two U's in there. So we know that this is not DNA. So we can cross out that one as being DNA and that one as being DNA. So our options are now reduced to J or L. Uh, the next one here is saying complementary DNA base sequence. So if I write this out, A, G, A, U, G, U, G, C, C, and G, A, A. That's going to be the RNA. I can try and work out what the DNA is up here. So T, C, T, A, C, A, C, G, G, and C, T, T. That matches this one, but not this one. So I can actually cross that one off. Just to confirm what we have here down the bottom, arginine, cysteine, alanine, and glutamic acid. Those are the amino acids. So if this is the mRNA, this is where our tRNA anticodons will go in between, and this is where our amino acids sit. So the tRNA must be UCU. So here's the codon, AGA. Here's the anticodon, UCU, that encodes for arginine. So UCU is there as the tRNA anticodon. So we know that this one is the one we want to pick and that it is correct. So the next question is from 2012, question four. And it says, refer to the following table which shows mRNA codons for amino acids. Whenever we see the um, genetic code like this, these codons are always the mRNA, not the tRNA. Similarly, we've got a question here where we've got two things that we have to line up. We need to work out whether it's what type of base sequence it is, uh, tRNA, mRNA, DNA, or tRNA, and what it's coding for, with two options there, tyrosine or isoleucine. So the base sequence we're talking about is UAU. So again, the presence of U there lets us know it's not um, DNA. So it's either tRNA or mRNA. So let's go with option one. If it's mRNA, U, A, U. What we're going to do is we're going to look up U, A, U, and that gives us tyrosine. So mRNA codes for isoleucine. That one must be wrong. So if it's tRNA, then um, the option is that the codon can't be UAU because uh, if this is tRNA, then that's the anticodon. Is UAU. Therefore, the codon must be AUA. So if we're talking about tRNA having a sequence of UAU, then the codon we're actually looking for is AUA that's complementary to that. So now we're going to do AUA instead. So a, U, and that one there, A, gives us isoleucine. So if it's a tRNA, it's not coding for tyrosine, it must be coding for isoleucine. So M is the correct answer. So particularly tricky one there. It's not the kind of question that you can just look at the four answers and pick the right one. So a lot of multiple choice questions in biology, you need to take your steps, go through it step by step, work out first part, work out the second part, and decode it. 
these are application style questions and they're much harder than the knowledge and understanding style questions. So this one is actually from the 2017 paper um, and it's a short answer question. So let's work our way through this one. The following sequence of bases is part of a gene that codes for the myosin muscle protein in apes. Now that might throw some people. You don't have to worry about which protein it is and whether you've heard of it. Myosin is a protein. You don't even have to worry about apes. The important thing here is that you're told that it's a gene that codes for a protein. So um, sometimes there's extra information in here and you just have to learn to filter that out because what the question is actually asking is state the number of amino acids that are coded for by the sequence of bases shown. So the way I'm going to work that out is I'm going to look for codon triplets. So we've got in the DNA here four triplets. That's going to give us four triplets in the mRNA, um, which will mean we've got four amino acids there. So easy answer that one, four. The corresponding sequence of bases in the same gene in human beings is shown below. And it's saying that there are some deleted bases. Describe one likely consequence of the deletion of two bases for that protein in human beings. So when we compare with the human one, we see that there's a triplet here and a triplet here. If those two are missing, then the next triplet would be that one, and then there'd be a further triplet going off here. So one likely consequence of that is that although those two amino acids would be the same, got the same codon, the third amino acid in that sequence is going to be coded for by CCG rather than ACC. So what I'm going to write here is that one likely consequence is uh, that the third amino acid will be different because the deletion changes, whoops. Now, I'm going to use a term here that we haven't talked about yet, but just so uh, you're clear, I'm going to use the correct term. It's talking about the frame. So you can see here that there's a frame shift. Um, so that's called a frame shift. But even if you didn't use that correct term, if you just said that the third amino acid would be different because um, the codons are different, that would be fine as well. So hopefully that helps you go through how you can unpack and use your understanding in order to apply that to uh, work out some application style questions for multiple choice and for short answer.